And our next question, it comes to us via home video. Let's have a look. Hey, doctors. Every year, my family and I go on a tropical vacation to beat the winter blues. My kids love the beach, but I am deathly afraid that they will get stung by a jellyfish. If you see any jellyfish, remember, don't touch them, don't go by them, just yell for mom, okay? Two things. Is there a way to avoid jellyfish stings? And secondly, is there a way to treat them immediately? Well, we have Brenda and her sons, Travis and James, here with us today, hanging out on the doctor's beach. This is pretty cool, right, guys? Yeah. Luckily, on this beach, we can't get sunburns. So, thousands of different types of jellyfish out there. Only about 100 or so have venom that's dangerous to humans. But there are some truly dangerous jellyfish out there. The box jellyfish, which is found in northern Australia, certainly the man of war, which is found in warm ocean waters, can be really, truly dangerous. Most other jellyfish, it just hurts. Did you know there's a way you can avoid getting stung? Yeah. So tell everyone, Travis. <laughs> That's all I know, that you can avoid getting stung. <laughs> It, one thing you can do is wearing a wetsuit, and there's even some lotions that you can wear that people say will help it. But you know another thing? If there are a ton of jellyfish swimming around, that may not be the time to get in the water. <laughs> That's probably the best advice. So what do you do if you're stung? White vinegar. If you're at the beach with a lot of jellyfish, bring some white vinegar. The next best thing is salt water. You know what you don't want to use? Shocker. Don't use fresh water because the fresh water makes it more painful. Cool. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Guys, you want to help me out? Come, come over here a little bit. Come hang out on my towel. So this is a foot that was stung by a jellyfish that has really long tentacles, OK? So the best way to get them off, you can actually use tweezers. Travis, you want to try that? Take some of those tentacles off. So ow, it hurts. I want these off. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh, thank you, Travis. Get, get the tentacles off. Oh, this is making me feel so much better. So you've already poured white vinegar on to help with the stinging. Like I said, second is salt water. So you get all those tentacles off. But as you're getting those tentacles off, there are actually still some small what's called nematocytes embedded in your skin. And guys, if your foot's still burning, those can be there, but you can't see them. What you can do is if you pack shaving cream James, spray shaving cream on that leg. So you know what you do? Travis, help me out. Take the credit card, so you, you just douse it with shaving cream. And then take that credit card and, and, and move it along the leg. So yeah, so you take the credit card and you're gonna, you're gonna kind of scrape it down like that. So you wanna scrape everything off. And what you're doing is you're removing those nematocytes that you can't see. After you've done that, re reapply a little bit of the vinegar. And the good news here, Mom, is that usually with most jellyfish things, it's not like you need to go rushing to the hospital. The only time that would be necessary is if you thought they were having a severe allergic reaction, the pain was not controlled. Every now and then with some of these more severe jellyfish things, people will have shortness of breath. If that occurs, then you want to go see seek some medical attention. Another thing you don't want to do, you probably heard about it, is uh, pull down your drawers and urinate on it. Have you guys ever heard of that? Yeah. So but you really don't want to do that in a public <laughs> beach unless you want to be arrested. So white vinegar. And you want to know a fun fact, guys? Did you know this show's about glowing? That's why jellyfish are in it. Jellyfish actually contain, some jellyfish, a green fluorescent protein. It makes them glow in the dark. You see that? So what if I told you that that glowing protein may help save lives someday? Would you believe me? Yeah. Thank you, Travis. James, thank you so much, my friend. Brenda, thanks for coming on the show.